Hi, this is Mr. Anger, <clears throat> PaceSuccess.net. Uh, my goal this year is to make some videos for Algebra 1. And uh, if you are just starting, this is what the pace looks like. Uh, Mackinac Bridge right here on the front. And that's up in Michigan, beautiful place up there. I'm looking inside the version I have says 1999 revision. <clears throat> this means it's not the newest, latest fourth edition. If you were doing algebra, you know, pre-algebra, um, which took you up through, what would it be, 85 through 96, that was probably fourth edition. And uh, they added color, gave better instructions, it really kind of a snappy course, challenging at times, but we uh, made some videos that hopefully helped you get through that. This is black and white. It is the older edition. I don't know when they're coming out with a newer edition. <clears throat> But it is what it is, okay? And uh, I will give you this note, a couple of notes here just starting out. If this is your first experience, let's say your parents are homeschooling or you're in a small Christian school and this is your very first math course with ACE, um, this may be a really challenging experience for you, okay? <laughs> Um, the pre-algebra course that leads up to this really lays the groundwork. So actually, even if you are, let's say, a ninth grader, which is what this is typically um, <clears throat> designed for, I would say if you have, don't have a real strong foundation, I would highly recommend you talk to your parents, your supervisor, about going through level 85 through 96 this year before you try to start this Algebra 1. And uh, it's not going to put you back, okay? On your high school transcript, your parents can call it pre-algebra, and you'll get a full high school credit for pre-algebra, but you're going to do much better trying to tackle this if you've had that foundation, okay? Or maybe you had pre-algebra with some other curriculum, and in that case, hopefully you will, you'll do fine. But I, I will warn you, it looks like they dive into a lot of things that they assume you already know, and this is just a real quick review to bring you up to speed. So they're not teaching as much as reviewing. And if you are working through this pace, you say, wow, I have not seen this before. This is all brand new to me. Then this is not review, okay? And in that case, you probably would be better served by laying a better, stronger foundation. Because algebra is challenging. Now I have a separate video and you can go to my YouTube channel if you want to watch it. It's called, Why Do I Have to Learn This? And in particular, I have students ask me a lot of times, why do I have to learn algebra? Why do I have to learn geometry? And there are some really good um, scientific answers <clears throat> about what algebra does to your brain. And I don't mean it fries it, I mean it helps to make new connections, all right? And I'll just, I mentioned this a little bit in that other video, but I'll just give you a little taste of this. What happens when you hit junior high is that the brain kind of goes through a wash where it erases everything that it has not been regularly using, and it's like you get dumb, all right? But the brain is trying to clear out some of the synapses that are old or <clears throat> worn out and prepare the brain, in other words, like make new room for the new things that your brain's gonna be learning. And so the renovation project or the rebuilding stage is what's happening now. And algebra is a big part of that rebuilding stage. So it is really important that you do this. It's kind of like, you know, doing exercises with weight machines. Yeah, you're not going to use the weight machines your entire life, but the goal is to build muscles, right, that you will use the rest of your life. And that's what algebra does. It builds brain muscles to make you smart. So let's open the pace and... Um, <laughs> One of the things I noticed just looking through the pace <clears throat> is that there are some vocabulary words and they don't talk about it much. There's not a lot of questions from it, but I want you to go ahead and look at the checkup with me. All right, so let's see. That is on page um, nine. <clears throat> and page nine may be the first time that all of a sudden you see some of these terms. You say, well, I don't know that. They didn't cover that. Well, actually they did and it was on that first page. So I would suggest writing those out, kind of work on understanding them, put check marks by the ones that you say you know, the ones you don't know, they put a question mark by them, and as you work through that section, see if it becomes a little bit clearer. But you definitely need to know it when you get to the end. The other thing you need to know for the self-test and the PACE test 
<clears throat> are the verses. So go to page... Um, oh, let's see. No, nope, page 40. I, I'm looking. They don't have... Oh, there it is. Page 40, question number 30. They do have you write out a scripture verse. And uh, that is from the page one here at the bottom okay first corinthians 15 58 and a lot of these verses if you've been through the ace curriculum for several years you probably already know the verses again it's just a way to review and keep it fresh <clears throat> first section mainly terms and some of them like i said if you've not had much of this before is going to be brand new or, or like that like the term coefficient there's a very technical application on page five of what coefficient means it just means everything else that's not what the coefficient is a part of so i could take a new <clears throat> something like um three x y z if i say what is the coefficient on z then basically it's everything else that's not part of z so 3xy would be the coefficient on z what is the coefficient on x well it's everything that's not x so 3yz is the coefficient now honestly <clears throat> most algebra curriculums when they talk about coefficient they're actually talking about what's the numerical coefficient that's the more important number so that's this thing and i often in teaching algebra i just say what's the coefficient and i'm just thinking about the three i'm not saying the coefficient of xyz i'm just saying what's the coefficient and those the numerical coefficient now here's an interesting thing what is the coefficient of a b well if there is no number in front we assume the number is one Okay, so the numerical coefficient in that case is 1. And um, the other thing that's kind of covered here is uh, talk about radicals. That's doing you know, square roots. I'm sure you know what the square roots are. And um, <clears throat> that kind of takes you right up to the first checkup. <clears throat> it looks more complicated. You know, once you dive into it and you really start reading the directions, and uh, do the problems i think you'll find that it's not too bad at least getting up to the first checkup here and i have one more suggestion before i stop this introductory video and that is this really important do one page at a time do one section and then stop and go score it okay mark wrong any that you got wrong and then go back and try to figure out what was i what was i thinking what was i doing wrong okay do not do not do not if you're a homeschooler don't sit there at the table with the score key in front of you and just keep checking after every problem because your brain is likely and inclined to say i want the easy way out i just want to copy the answer and hear me out here okay yes that's cheating but even more importantly you're not learning it then okay getting smarter and learning is a result of making your brain think so getting the right answer does not make you smarter. Giving feedback to your brain to say, hey, I know what I'm doing. That's a good thing. Even getting feedback to say, I'm confused. I'm not getting this right. I got this whole page wrong. That's actually a good thing, okay? Because if you stop and you get help, or you go back and you reread it and you figure out what you did wrong, now you're getting smarter, okay? And uh, so think about what you're doing. Think about the ones you got wrong until you get them right don't just copy the answers and move on getting the right answer does not make you smarter and is not going to help you do well on the test and really algebra keeps building so the foundation that we lay in this first pace it just keeps building and building and building so we can't allow gaps we have to master it and i think if you work hard at this and i'm going to try to keep making some more videos for this pace and the ones in the future if you especially if you are in this current school year that i'm making the videos but even other years if these are still posted and helpful if you come across pages or problems that you think oh, i really wish i were some instruction for this go to the pay success website click on the contact form and just send me some send me a form an email and uh, let me know specifically what you have a question about because the equipment i have is super easy to set up and make new videos all right <clears throat> Good luck. Algebra 1, you're going to get smart this year.